Hey everyone, it's me again, and unfortunately I'm still playing this deck. So this is a list that uh, got to Cog sort of recently, and I thought, you know what? That's kind of an interesting list, it's not really tied to any specific archetype, it's just using the skill as plainly as it can, and that still enables some like pretty decent synchro play. So the gist of it is, New Space Connector is basically a one card combo piece thanks to the skill, allowing you to end on a board of at least Clearwing Synchro Dragon and Herald of the Arclight. That's going first and going second, of course, you still have access to a very easy Dingirsu if you open Soge de Fleur. We also play a Chaos Dragon Levine because we're playing a significant number of light and darks so that we can have even more material for Ranked Florida. Dawn Knight is here also. Um, I guess that's another way you can, you know, easily get some lights in rotation for, for, for Levine. And that's, that's, that's just the deck. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm just going to show you a replay now. So this is a COG replay and it's going to be a sort of mirror. My opponent is on a different version of the Fleur deck that I am. But I'm going first, so they won't get to they won't get to enjoy their version much. So I've got a pretty decent hand with Neo Space Connector, which I am immediately going to normal summon, getting the Neo Space Aqua Dolphin onto my side of the field. Then I'm gonna activate the scale, returning the Necro Synchron to my deck so that I can summon a Necron Synchron to my field and then Synchro both of these off into a Star Discharge Warrior. At this stage you have to remember to activate the Star Discharge Warrior as Chainlink 1 and the Necron Synchron as uh, Chainlink 2 so that you don't accidentally draw your Glower Ball. That, that would be that would be terrible. So uh, I'm gonna summon the Glower Ball first and then draw a card which turns out to be another Neo Space Connector and then I'm gonna Synchro both of these off into Clearwing Synchro Dragon. At this stage I'm also going to activate Melody of the Awakening Dragon to get double Dragon Levineers, one of which I am going to pitch for the effect of Neospatian Equidolphin. If you've ever played the TCG during, um, I want to say, Gooky formats, where this card w w was played because it's, uh, Neo Space Connector basically turned it into a one card combo, well a one card assault at least, this was very useful to read your opponent's head of any end traps, however, it's not really like uh, you know, end traps that we tend to be in dual link, specifically Lancia, tend to have more attack than, uh, you know, Neo Space Connector. So instead, we're going to use the Neo Space and Equidolphin once we have Clear Wing on the board to get a peek at our opponent's hand. And unfortunately, uh, I am playing against Zombie Orchest Fleur, so their hand is Wand, Soge de Fleur, which I can get rid of, I, I would like to, but I can't, and Double Necro World Banshee. It's kind of an issue, I'm going to have to uh, pick one of the Neverworld Banshees, unfortunately. Then I'm going to glow up bold in my graveyard, they're going to... Neverworld Banshee in response, it doesn't really do anything. Milling a Melody of the Awakening Dragon, and then... Synchro into Errol of the Arclight, and I milled a, another uh, Dark Monster. I would have also been able to live in here to end rip them, um, which... Would have been really cool, would have been a, a way for me to get rid of the Source of Love, but uh, that did not happen, so... It's just it's just the, the end board is Clearwing plus a roll of the Arclight. Let's see how they deal against it. First and foremost, thanks to the skill, they get a free body, and because they have Source de Fleur in hand, they can just activate the effect of Source de Fleur to try and pop their Necro Fleur, which will summon another body. And my Errol of the Arclight. When the Necro Flood dies, it will summon a Sorcia de Flood, which will summon another body. So they're going to end up on uh, 2 8 plus another body from my graveyard. And basically, pretty much win the game from there. That's, that's silly that a skill just allows you to do that. Like, obviously, you have to negate this with Errol of the Arclight, but imagine if I did not have the Errol here, I would just lose the game on the spot. Uh, uh, stupid. They're gonna normal summon the Necrol Banshee and then synchro their entire board away for... They're not gonna synchro, sorry. They're gonna link their entire board away for Nightmare Unicorn. Nightmare Unicorn is going to pitch the last card in hand, Orcus Nightmare, to Clearwing Synchro Dragon. But Clearwing Synchro Dragon is going to be able to negate the effect of the uh, Nightmare Unicorn because it does target a level 5 or higher monster on the field and no other cards. So I'm going to be able to destroy the Orcus Nightmare, then, then going to be able to 
Orcus Nightmare for Harpora, Harpora for Symbol Skeleton, and then realize that they lost. Uh, because as stupid as their skill is, it it, it can't compete with uh, how stupid my skill is, basically. Wow, we wasn't that a fun deck? Isn't that super fun? I hate this. I think an easy way to just fake this skill is um, you remove the free uh, blur thing, necro flare that that spawns on your field if you go second. So that you inherently remove synergy with Soge de Fleur, which like it's it's just insane. If you open Soge de Fleur and and you go second, you clear one card in your opponent's board, and you get two level eights on board, which you can make into a Dingesu, and you get something from your opponent's graveyard, which is also super busted. Like there's there's literally no easy way to deal with this and they don't even have to commit a, a normal summon to it. That's just one card on their hand, three cards on the field. It, it, it's absurd, it's ridiculous, and it should not exist. What else is completely busted about this skill? You know, I, I, I think I'd be fine with the Necro uh, Synchron part of the skill and the, the part that summons a Sorcia de Fleur from your deck. I think these like are okay. But just the the free necro flur is, is is completely stupid. It should not exist. It sh you should not get three monsters on your field for doing absolutely nothing. And this is what this skill is. You just get three monsters on the field for doing absolutely nothing. Monster that you can use with Soge de Flair to pop it and then the gear suit. Like what's 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 the logical conclusion of this, right? Because there's no way this skill is gonna go in touch before the like uh, well, at least after the next KC Cup, right? And there's so many versions, I don't even think this one is like particularly game-breaking. Like, sure, it's annoying to get end-ripped, but if this is the only thing you end up facing, it, it, is it really that bad? You know? I mean, I guess you could uh, Errol of the Arclights and then New Space Equal Dolphin to, to completely banish a card that they're, they're, they're playing, but... It's like, come on, this... Uh... I can't think positively about this deck and this skill in general. It's just, I feel, the laziest, most absurd design in the history of Duel Links. And we are talking about a game where, you know, a bond that illuminates the future never got nerfed. It's, it's stupid. Anyway, that's going to be the, uh, the video today uh, until better news arrives. I'm not particularly interested in Rush Duels, so I'm probably not going to open the newest uh, Rush Duel mini box and stuff. So uh, this is what we're stuck with. This is what we're going to have to deal with for the next couple of months. You know, it, it, I'm sure that like there are all the decks that can compete with this very clearly. I think Rockets are still in the game, Blue Eyes uh, still really a, a decent deck, and maybe... Uh, the newest, um, is it going to be a main box or a mini box? I think a mini box. Maybe the newest mini box will introduce archetypes and decks that uh, are worth playing over this. This is a thing that exists and had no reason to exist. But it does anyway. Because Konami couldn't be asked to like balance test their, their designs. Thank you for watching this video, uh, take care everyone, and I will see you all next time.